you get to go to Austin. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It is uh, 15 minutes after 6 o'clock. And new this morning, we're getting a first look at the Lego Expo that's coming to Portland this weekend. Bricks Cascade features hundreds of displays. Cor Harlan joins us live with a look at some of the Lego score. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ken. We're over here at the convention center this morning. They're getting ready to move in here and take over a good section of the uh, hall here. 600,000 square feet of Lego Expo this uh, this weekend, and there are almost 500 uh, people who will be exhibitors here. One of them uh, is right in front of me here, James Ritzman here, who's uh, kind of taken uh, taking us down a little Jurassic Park spin here. Lego uh, has has helped you guys out, come up with really a neat neat design here. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, we. So this has been a, a collaborative project uh -huh. uh, with myself and several other of my friends uh, over the past year. And we've been working together as a team. We, we envisioned the idea of a Jurassic Park that actually survived, that didn't yeah. actually, you know, get taken over and, and run over by Before the Before you get too far out in the weeds yeah. on this, I want to just show Jay, show the, the, the so, so Lego made a actual, uh, yeah. some dinosaurs, but check out, check out the, uh, so all right, how many dinosaurs you don't have a little Lego thing on its back? A little Lego thing on the bottom of its feet, so it sticks to whatever you want it to. That is that is getting pretty granular, just in terms of <laughs> things Lego does to, to to you know sort of immerse itself in all this. Right? That's true, yeah, but it's awesome. We we're big dino, dinosaur fans, and the kids love this. Talk about the plants first yeah. of all, right? So this is actually the plant elements here are really fascinating. So so Lego has a mission to get all of its materials from sustainable sources by the year 2030. And so that's a really aggressive mission. And what they've done is with these plant elements, mm -hmm. they've released a, uh, a sugarcane-based uh, polyethylene. Mm -hmm. And so that can be uh, grown from sugarcane and derived. It's not biodegradable, but uh -huh. it does come from sustainable sources. Really cool. All these palm trees that you see here, they're also made out of individual Lego pieces. You can give them a little sway depending upon how you want them here. And let's not forget, we got about 30 seconds left. A guy sitting out here in the middle of uh, sitting out here in the middle of Jurassic Park. Where'd you come up with this guy here? Well, so you know. You have to have the Easter eggs, and, and everybody knows Jurassic Park. One of the biggest fears, like I think, I think Jurassic Park for bathroom kids, fear, right? Bathroom fear, yeah. yeah going into an outhouse yeah. and getting eaten by a dinosaur. Yeah. So that's the beginnings of that. You gotta have that right out here. It's an exhibitor day today and tomorrow. Open to the public here at the convention center Saturday and Sunday for James and a lot of other people to dream, to play a little bit uh, while they're away from their day job, and there will be a lot of that going on here this weekend. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, I remember the scene of the uh, guy sitting on the toilet and uh, the, the toilet. dinosaur right. comes by. Uh, that, that was really frightening is. and funny at the same time. Mm -hmm. There he is, was right there, all right? So I just get him right there. Yeah. Is he going to eat them? There you go. Uh -oh. There you go. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, pretty scary. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay, we're That's recreating perfect. movie scenes here. Yes. That's, there it is. Absolutely great. Very high-tech creation. recreation <laughs> there. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Cork. Uh, okay, we're monitoring a situation on I-5. It's been going on, and it's affecting traffic. It is impacting traffic. I've got some new information for you. The latest from ODOT is that half